to look at some more on slope and in particular parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope and if you go to the y-intercept form where your y is isolated you can easily read your slope off. So these two are both in slope intercept form we can easily read off the slope slope is 3 for both so those are parallel lines. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals so opposite sign and flip them over. These two lines are also in slope intercept form so we can easily read off the slope. This slope is 2 thirds this slope is negative 3 halves so they have opposite sign and they're flipped over. So these lines are perpendicular. For our first problem it says write the equation of the line in point slope form and general form. And the information they give us, they give us a point and then they tell us this line is, our line is parallel to this line. So the important piece of that is if it's parallel then our slope will be the same. So our slope that we need will also be 4 thirds. And that gives us all the information we need. We have a point and we have a slope. So we can plug in to the point slope form. I'm just going to write it first. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and you plug into the subscripts so we have y minus my y1 is 5 equals m which is 4 thirds times x minus 2. We should clear that fraction out so we'll multiply 3 by the common denominator which is a 3 so we'll do 3 here, here, and here to cancel that out. So now we have 3y minus 15 equals, go ahead and distribute your 4, 4x minus 8. This is the point slope form that they've asked for and we'll go to general form because that's what they asked for. So we need everything on one side, zero on the other side. Uh, normally I always write these with a positive coefficient on the x. I don't really think it matters but I'm going to go ahead and go that way. Um, and it would just be formalities. Mathematically it doesn't matter. Alright, but we'll go that way. So I'm going to keep it on the right because my x there is positive. So I'm keeping 4x. All right, I need to get the y over here. So I'm going to subtract 3y. Right, I need to get the 15 over here because this form gets a 0 on one side. So I'm going to add 15. That'll give me 0 on that side. And these are different signs. So you're going to subtract sine of the larger. And so that is general form. Same directions on this problem. Uh, write our line in point slope form and general form. Uh, they have given us a point. Uh, our line is parallel to this line, but they didn't give us the easy form to read off the slope. So we're going to have to do some work there to figure out our slope. We'll get the slope for this line. Ours will be the same. I'm going to go ahead and label this point. Right, so I'm going to change this to the y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to divide by negative 5. Remember to do it under each term with lines. And so that gives me y equals negative 2. And this was minus when I moved it over. Uh, so your two negatives here will give you plus two-fifths x. And the two-fifths will be our slope because our line is parallel. 
Right, so our formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plug in. So we're going to do y minus a negative 1, which will make y plus 1. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It is minus a negative 1. That's how I get the plus. All right, my slope is 2 fifths times x. Again, we have minus a negative, so this is going to be plus 6. Clear your fraction. So common denominator is a 5. So do a 5 all the way across. This will give me 5y plus 5 equals, distribute your 2, 2x plus 12. Right. This is your point slope form, and now I'm going to move it around and get a zero, and I'll get it again on the left-hand side because this x already has a positive coefficient. So I'm going to keep the x term. I'm going to subtract 5y. I'm going to subtract 5. That will give me zero. And 12 minus 5 will give me 7. That is general form. Same directions. Uh, this time we're going to write the equation of the line passing through 1, 5 and perpendicular to the line whose equation is this. Right, so that tells us about the slope. This is in the easy form to take it off. So the slope of this line is 4 thirds. Our slope will be the negative reciprocal which will be opposite sign, so it will be negative, and it will be flipped over. So that gives us the information we need. So we're ready to plug into our point slope form. So we have y minus 5 equals negative 3 fourths x minus one. We're going to clear the fraction. Common denominator is a 4, so multiply across by 4. And that gives us 4y minus 20 equals negative 3 to distribute here, which will give us negative 3x, and be careful, will give us a positive 3. And now we're going to move it around to the other form. This time I'm going to move to the left because my x is negative and I would rather have it positive. So I'm going to add 3x. I'm going to put it in the front. I already have my y here. right? And I'm going to subtract 3. Those are like signs so they're going to add and keep the sign. And now I have 0 on the right hand side. So this is general form. All right, our last one we're going to write um, the equation of the line passing through 8, negative 2 and it's perpendicular to this line. Um, what we need to know from this line is its slope. So we have to move it around and isolate the y. So I'm going to keep the y. I'm going to move the 4x. I'm going to move the 6, so I have to add the 6. And I need to divide everything by 3. So that gives me y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2. Now, our slope, our line is perpendicular to that line. So if that slope is negative 4 thirds, our slope is going to be positive 3 fourths. Right, so now we can plug in. So I have y minus, minus a negative, so it's going to be plus 2 equals 3 fourths times x minus 8. Clean up and get rid of your 4. So we're multiplying across by 4.
So we have 4y plus 8 equals 3x minus 24. Right, this is your point slope form. And now we'll go to general form. So I'm going to keep the x on the right hand side this time since that coefficient of x is already positive. So I'm going to subtract 4y. I need to subtract 8. Those are like signs, so you're going to add and keep the sign. And there you have general form.